interfaith turnout, about 27 Jewish congregations, a bunch of other programs, Muslim, Japanese, Mexican-American, um, we're all here in this vigil today, uniting in a post-Trump America. Having to deal with a lot of our emotions in this post-election season, but it's a wonderful outpouring of unity and support today. Rabbi Klein right over here. Then we have my boss, Matt Craig Taubman, right over here, the Pico Union Project, here at the historic Dolores Mission. because it is love and justice that will bring us together in this room. Love your neighbor as yourself. Turn to your neighbor if you can right now and give him a big hug. A big hug. Everyone needs love. Everyone needs some love right now. This world with love. If you would say this, na 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 na. That's your part. One more time. Na 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 na. I cannot hear you. One more time. Beautiful. Here we go. We can build this world with love. Yes, we, yes, we can build this world with the love. Let me hear it. La, 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 la. And when we build this world with the love. La, 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 la. Then Wait for total peace, total quiet. 
total achdut, total oneness, we're waiting. And once we are one, we're strong. Olam chesed yibane. shall you pursue. See, the arc of Jewish history is long. It reaches back 3,000 years. So it's no surprise that when we remember Jewish history, we can say that we've seen evil in our world. And, and we don't forget that evil. In fact, the opposite, we force ourselves to remember. So when I say I've seen it before, I mean we collected with the Jewish people. We've seen leaders who've subverted the cause of justice, who've undermined the best interests of the people, who fulfilled their own needs for power and for fame. Now you might be thinking the worst of the worst. You might be thinking in the name of all the historical rogues, the Hitlers and the Stalins, and yeah, we've seen them too. They're the most villainous, the pharaohs of history. That's the short list of the world's, world's evil doers. But when we came up against them, we Jews, we said, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. Justice, justice shall we pursue despite their evil. We always said that. And we picked ourselves up, and we buried our dead when we had to. And we dreamed of a world that would be different than the one we're living in. And we said, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. And you can say it with me. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. Now, I'm not comparing any president, past, present, or future to that gallery of robes I just listed, because I don't need to, because the Jewish people have had kings in our past, I'm talking 2,000 years ago, ones that we elected, ones that we chose, and when the Bible speaks about them, it says that they were Ra, and Ra in Hebrew means evil. And those kings, our own people, they brought us to war, they subverted justice, they undermined the best interests of the people, and they fulfilled their own cravings for power and for fame. And it's during those reigns of those kings that we wrote the words, Tzedek, 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 Justice, justice shall you pursue. And it's because we've been there before, and now I mean all of us, we've been there before we faced off against evil kings, we've buried our dead, we've dreamed of a better world. And we can say, I've seen this before. We've seen evil. We've seen injustice. We've seen a world made dark by forces that seem to want to undermine us all. But in the face of it all, we said, Tzedek, 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 Justice, justice shall we pursue. So I'm here 
to speak from the voice of Jewish tradition, from the experiences of my ancestors, and the, from the hope of 3,000 years that will not die, when I say to you, I'm going to use another word, another language you hear in Boyle Heights, Si se puede. Yes, we can. We will not stop. We will pursue justice. We will continue to make this world better for ourselves because history tells us that we can't give up. Because experience tells us that there will rise up before us pharaohs who would want to bring us down in the face of that, in the face of their challenges. And because we believe that the world can be better for ourselves and for our children, we say these words, and this is our prayer together. So I'm going to say it slow, and we're going to say it together. And we're not just going to say it, but when we get up from this room and walk out into the world, we are going to act every single day of our lives to make sure that the world that we dream of is the world that we will live in. So let's say it together. Tzedek, 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 Justice, justice shall we pursue. Let's go. Just as Zach said, we this is, and just as Rabbi Stern said, this is not an end to an election. This is not an end to something. This is a beginning of a new day in America where we take a look at each other. We look at each other in each other's faces. We look at into each other's eyes. And we have faith in each other. We have faith in each other. Uh, with that, we move forward to respond to whatever they're gonna bring down the pipe. <laughs> whatever it actually is. Mayor Sorry. Garcetti right now is in Mexico City at an environmental com uh, conference to try to, try to hold on to what progress we've made. And uh, I, I, uh, there's a wonderful story about from Corinthians, which I'm, it's a great parable about the body, and you know Paul talking about um, you know there are you know the arm is not more important than the eye or the nose or the whatever. It, it, go look it up. It's Second Corinthians or First Corinthians. But 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 I, 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 I ask you to I ask you to go just go embrace that you know take that to heart. That, that story, because each of us have, there, you know, no one can do everything, but everyone can do something. That's right. We are each of us, we are each of us have a, a, a beautiful creative gift to contribute to the life of our neighborhoods, to our city, and to our world. Uh, do not lose faith. Just let this be an inspiration that the Spirit is among us. Uh, it will move us forward towards justice, and together we will prevail. Thank you. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Bienvenido aquí a su pobre casa. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to your humble home. As the pastor of Dolores Mission, I delight in this church being a sanctuary. For those of you who may not know, Dolores Mission for almost 30 years, every night this church has had 50, 60, 70, 80, as many as 120 men sleeping in it. Our shelter for women is just a few blocks away, and we come together daily for meals, for breakfast, for dinner, and if you want to join us, you're always welcome. When the Lord's Mission became a sanctuary, uh, the priests received many death threats, the church had bomb threats, uh, people decided to repaint the front of our church with the words, Wet Back Church. And we kept that painting as a badge of honor. <laughs> Uh, 
we live in an age where there is a great sickness in our world. That sickness is about creating division among us. This sickness is trying to keep us in a place of exclusion where anyone who is unknown to us, a stranger, a migrant, a refugee, a person of different skin color, or people of different faith, are somehow seen as an outsider, an unknown, and suddenly become a threat. And then we label them as an enemy. This sickness is taking over our world. But we are the medicine. Yes. That's right. Yeah. The cure to this sickness is in us. It is with us. And it is stronger now that we are here united as one. Because our one loving God wants to struggle with us and walk with us and bring about the healing that our world so desperately needs. But this won't come easy. Because to be about this, we need to love our enemy. We need to bless those who curse us. We need to pray for us, those who will do us harm. If we really want to transform our world, this healing is crucial. This healing is now. Hoy día, como el pueblo de Dios, si queremos avanzar, si queremos mejorar las cosas en nuestro mundo, tenemos que amar a el que se llama enemigo. Tenemos que bendecir los que nos maldigan. Y tenemos que rezar para los que nos quieren hacer mal. Unidos como un verdadero pueblo de Dios. Cambiaremos nuestro mundo, sanaremos la enfermedad que solo nos quiere dividir y excluir. Hoy ya no existe la exclusión. Aquí, en esta casa de Dios, no existe exclusión. Aquí somos uno, somos unidos y juntos cambiaremos el mundo. Today, in this church, in this temple, Exclusion does not exist, and no one is on the outside. We all come together as one, and we stand together as one to work for a better world, to bring about a better world, to heal the sickness that wants to exclude us and divide us. And united as one, we will build the kingdom of God that all of God's holy children deserves. There is no holy war except a holy war that brings about healing and brings about life that brings about justice for all of God's holy children.
that while we will probably keep crying out to you, we will also stand up and we will walk forward and we will fight. children, we will fight. Yeah. And when people of color are scared for their basic physical safety, we will fight. Yeah. And when discrimination makes your children God afraid to wear their religious clothing, hijab, or kippah, or anything else, we will fight. even and perhaps especially when that group is not mine, we will fight. God, we thank you for allowing us to be your partners and your hands in the holy work of increasing justice and peace and love in the world. And we ask you, God, that you grant us the open hearts and the open minds the strength and the courage that we need in order to do what must be done. Ki imcha mekor chayim bo'orcha nire or for you are the source of life and in your light we too will be bathed in possibility and light. Thank you, everyone, for being here. You've been amazing.